There's risk in every development you do. If you don't take any risks, you never take any steps forward. It's a lot of little small differences, the one percenters, that are going to be the big differentiator technically in this next America's Cup. We need to know exactly what the forces, momentum is happening around that wing sail to understand how to optimise it fully. Our engine is this huge wing, the size of a Boeing 737 wing, and it's creating that thrust. The technologies that we use are pioneering. It's the first time it's been used in this instance. Well, the fluid structure interaction is that virtual modeling of the airflow around the vehicle. And that's the main essence of what we've brought to the development of the boat, fundamentally being able to place a wing into an airflow that doesn't exist and a wing that doesn't exist, and try lots and lots of different permutations, iterations, changes on that structure itself. The main trade you have to strike is how much effort you have to put in to get that performance gain. There's some stuff that we'll do that'll be saving a few hundred grams on the boat and that'll be worth a fraction of a tenth of a knot. There's a huge amount of development to go in this short period now to the Cup. This is really the critical period where we eke out absolutely every percentage of performance we can from the race boat. The race isn't going to wait for you. You've got to get ready for it and you've got to make decisions. To go out and win the America's Cup at the first attempt, there's only one other team in the history of the Cup that's achieved that. So we're under no illusions just how tough a challenge that is. And that's what really defines us as a team. It motivates us and drives us and pushes us to try and reach that goal.